presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem. with us here. Now. Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Beginning of the month. Let's make it a great month. Surrender. And let go of the past. Always do your best. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself fully be alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 28, NASDAQ off 12, SP's flat. Gold, gold contract down $9.60, trading at 1989 an ounce. We have silver. Up two cents, twenty-five dollars, twenty-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off a dollar, seventy-five dollars, eighty cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down twenty-three ticks, trading one fourteen fifteen. The thirty-year down a full two points at one twenty-nine nineteen. And king dollar, king dollars up five hundred and eight ticks, trading one hundred two one sixty-eight. The euro is one hundred nine. The yen's one thirty-seven. The British pound's one twenty-four to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at them. What do we have? We have a flat market out here. I expect you're going to stay like this until Wednesday at 2 o'clock, folks. The meeting starts tomorrow. Um, yeah, meeting starts tomorrow and goes to Wednesday. That's, that's the Fed meeting. So we have out here today, you know, the spies are flat, literally flat. 415. 94. We, we take a look at the, just one second, folks, sorry about this. Let me get this up. Let's see. That, that. Here we go. Sorry, there we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. The cues. We take a look at the cues. Same type of setup inside the cues. Bottom line, you get a sideways move out here today. Um, you know, you're down 18 pennies, but that's it. For, you know, last Thursday and Friday were strong days, folks. There's no doubt about that. In fact, the Qs took out a B point, took it out with volume. So the, the Qs want higher price. We go, let's go take a look at the, the note and bond market. So the note and bond market, this has been vacillating back and forth, but continues higher. Every time it's come down, it's come down. Here it is again with light volume. See this right here? The 10 is down. But you get 781,000 contracts. Now watch this. We went up Friday with 2 million contracts. We're pulling back with 781. That says that notes and bonds want higher price, lower yield. It's pretty amazing, actually. Let me look at the U.S. The 30 year here. So... The 30 is off a of full two points. You got 217,000. This is going to be the same thing. We went up with a lot more. This is going to gyrate in a monster way tomorrow for sure. Wednesday. Yeah, look at this. So we went up Friday with uh, 380, back and down with 217. So the market, the way the market is set up right now is that the market 
is saying, I want higher price, lower rates. The way the Fed is set up <laughs> is that the Fed is set, set up to the point that they want to go a little bit higher. Now, you got to remember something. The Fed is overnight rates. That's all this is all about, okay? It's bank-to-bank -bank rates. So you can have both. That's the bottom line. Gold. We go take a look at the gold market out here. Gold couldn't hold price today, and it's all about the U.S. dollar. We take a look at the gold market. We have a gold. Gold got up to the price point of uh, 2015. We did 162,000 contracts, and it couldn't hold price. So... This has been holding up pretty good up here. You know, the real kicker is going to be where this dollar wants to go. And this dollar, I suspect, you know, really, my, my take is that this dollar wants to go to the 106. Now, this is where this goes. If the dollar wants to go to 106, your probability is pretty high that the Fed is going to come in with a, another quarter point, And more than likely, they're going to come in and, I know this is they're probably going to start to sound kind of bearish, not bearish, like, um, like they, they're not going to stop. And that, you know, when you look at that fundamentally, that's kind of hard to comprehend because of the fact that the third bank just went down. I mean, first uh, federal, federal uh, first Republic Bank. J.P. Morgan took over first Republic Bank. Uh, bottom line is we go take a look at J.P. Morgan, and you're going to see what's intriguing here is J.P. Morgan, you know, as the same with uh, Wells Fargo, they both, so check this out, this is pretty amazing when you think about it, they both are at their max, meaning that their deposit base is 10% of the whole deposit base in the whole United States. So what has to happen is that in J.P. Morgan's case, the bottom line is that they have to say, oh, okay, well, you know, we don't want you to go over 10%, but because of the fact that the federal FDIC is going to lose so much money, we're going to let you go over 10%. You know, and there's no doubt that whatever clients are left in First Republic, those are very high-end clients um, that I'm sure that J.P. Morgan is going to just eat up in a, in a monster way. And there's no doubt the banks... The government, the Treasury, they all play chicken right to the very end. And we don't know what the actual deal is yet. But what we do know is that when citizens took over Signature Bank, citizens went up dramatically because the fact of the matter is, is that the bankers themselves um, know a lot more than the regulators. And, we, it, that, and that's, that's just shown because these banks went down because the regulators weren't doing their job. You know, So there's a deal in there. That's, there's a deal in there somewhere. And I suspect it's going to come out. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 22. The Nasdaq's off 11. S&P's uh, up one. We have, uh, let me go look at that oil market. So oil. Yeah, that's still, that's down on my volume. Stay right there, folks. Coming back when I'm at Mr. Steve Rhodes. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 27. We'll get the NASDAQ down 18. SMPs off one. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. I'm going to switch gears on you folks out here. It's a beautiful thing. And our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, folks, don't forget, every trading day, he has a great show, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Better yet, though, on Fed Day, May 3rd, this coming Wednesday, 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time, Basil's going to do an opening call webinar, subscribe a webinar. Um, bottom line is that you can be a subscriber very easy by coming over to our website at TFNN. You'd sign up for his newsletter first. It comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. You get the newsletter, you're gonna get some great information for a full month, and you also come into the webinar. Bottom line, if, it, if the newsletter doesn't work for you, on the 29th day, you can cancel the newsletter and you're still gonna get a great education. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, this is a very, I think it's an important week because oh, yeah. uh, I've got a number of uh, indicators that I use. And the whole thing about this webinar on Wednesday is it's going to be like a workshop. I'm going to make it a, a very functional working webinar so that uh, you can take home uh, a lot of information that you can practice and stuff that I do all the time. I can show you this is the chart of the Dow. Nice. We're always looking for a peak D. That's where we get a bit cautious. That's actually where uh, within a, two days of that, the, the SPY, the S&P made a, a top at that right here. Let me just show you this chart because this is all the stuff that I'll be talking about now. Of course, I always have trouble <laughs> clicking on. There it is. The S&P coming up. There it is. So... I always look at this and I say, okay, there's a technique that I like to use. I, a long time ago when I used to hand chart with uh, engineering paper and pencil and a ruler, I had to eventually get a 15-inch ruler because the market was going up so sharply. This is way back um, a couple of decades ago before the, everything went on to computers. Well, I found that trend lines became really important. And over the years, I've added to that, I've made a refinement of that. Instead of doing one line, a trend line, I make a little mini channel, just a, like a 3 sixteenths of an inch. If it's going up, I make the top line green and the bottom line red. And what happens so often, I mean, I show this these charts, uh, it doesn't matter what it is, you'll always find that there's some chart that makes outer, outer wicks or the outer level of the candle where you can join the line. I, I, of course, you need at least two lines. I prefer if you can get three. And as the price gets to that, it either breaks out or it gets repelled. Well, look how many times uh, from that peak D, the S&P at 41, 
uh, in the uh, 4140 area gets repelled at that peak D, but then it becomes an important line. Look how many times in the S&P it popped up. And then what it did, it made a peak F. We actually went short the very next day. We took profits in that and uh, got taken out of our last position. for That, that one was a smaller loss than the others. Uh, because I, I wanted to keep it as long as possible. And then, of course, everything turned around Thursday and then moved up Friday. And now look what's happened. It's stalled where? It's stalled right. And these are just two trend lines. It's nothing complicated. Everybody on every platform is, has a trend line that they can draw. And here it is. We're into the red line. Hasn't broken the green line. But in the Chamway methodology, there's never an H. When you get to a G, you have to assess it. And here I have to say, hey, wait a minute. Is this a G which says, oh, be really careful because that's the end of the line? Or is this a brand new A? If it's an A, you say, are you kidding? Every single pullback I want to buy. But I like to be go one step at a time. And then I look at the, uh, the te technical indicators and I say, wait a minute. I've been speaking to you for about three or four weeks now saying the nine period moving average above the 14 period moving average, that's the green line above the black line, has been so strong. And if I go back to the Dow, there's a daily chart on the left, the same thing with the Dow. So what I said to subscribers, I think it was on Thursday, I said, look, here's a pattern I'm going to show you in great detail. And I'll just go to this one behind it. I'll get this away. We'll come back to this in a moment. And I showed them this chart here. And I said, look, I, I drew in these rectangles. I said, look what happens when the nine period moving average this is the daily chart. I made it just a single line, thick gray line for the Dow price itself. But the green is the nine period moving average and the black is the 14. I said, look what happens when the green is still strong above the 14. You can still go to an extra spike to the upside. Then you've got to be careful. Um, it did the same thing, spiked up there, and that was on the downside. So the pink said, hey, I'm turning green. I'm way above, below the black line. So that's very negative. So the, the 914 crossover right here was still very negative. And then it turned around, and you've got a crossover in the nine. It went positive, and we ran up. And now we've got, this is, this is Wednesday. This is Thursday. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is, yeah, Thursday, and then Friday extends even higher. Now we've stalled. So now what I want to, and this is what I'll be, I'll be going through a lot of charts to show this, this one technique, I've got so many others I'll be doing as well. But this uh, moving average, the nine period moving average can then make an M shaped pattern. This is where you've got to be careful. That's what happened over there. It went to an M pattern. So right here is where I'd be a little bit cautious because I think we've gotten overextended. There was a lot of buying upon buying because there was short covering. And then, of course, the good news with Microsoft and Meta. So we've had this extension to the upside, but not everything's participating. The semiconductors are still very weak, and I like to use that as kind of a benchmark for the market. There are a lot of things going. You spoke about the dollar. Let me just show you the dollar while we're looking at that. And so... In other words, we've got the resistance. You can see on the left side, we've got the resistance right there in the inside track, repellent zone of the Dow in leg E. You've got the S&P right here in leg G slash A. I'm thinking it's more like a G. It's going to need a bit of a breather here. And then when you talk about the dollar, which very often when the dollar starts to move, it has this counterpoint where, where gold can pull back, but very often the market um, tends to, it doesn't have to break down, but it tends to struggle to the upside and more likely comes down. So the dollar is at a critical point because it's, the MACD's turned up, the stochastic's still quite weak, but nine period moving average has a lot to go. So this is, I'll also be watching that. But I wanted to say for my subscribers, and the reason why this is such an important webinar is we are still long the Dow for in the Dow, um, the diamonds, as well as the UDOW three times long, uh, Dow from the October low. So we've had trading positions on the upside for quite some time. Now we've sort of stepped back. We had that short position. We've, ta we've taken that off. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, I'm waiting for a pullback to be able to put those positions back on. We also have a, di a dividend stock. I like to have something that tends to look like it's got capital gain. What's the use of having a dividend stock if it drops 15, po 15 points so, or 15%? Uh, um, so I like to have a dividend stock that has a chance to give capital gains as well as a dividend. We've got one that comes out with a dividend on the 5th of May. We'll see if that's still holding, holding quite nicely here. We've got a speculative stock, a stock that 
that ran up about 30 percent is pulled back today. We added a little bit that we had taken off. We added back today. So far, that part's up quite nicely. So I'm really trying to get a, a, a smorgasbord of different positions for subscribers for the next few months to come. And I think that this is a great time to be looking at that. Uh, we've got all our techniques that we put into place. Uh, you can see the wedge going to the upside. It shows you very clearly where the support is. Um, I don't think it'd be a smash to the downside, but I think what the Fed does on Wednesday um, is going to be very important. But the market right at this moment is a little bit vulnerable, even though it's had a spectacular move. So we'll be Folks, this is a great time for a webinar. At, at TFNN, you hit the news, you're right on the front page. You're going to hit Basil's opening call and you can get into the webinar. Basil, have a great one and a safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Old report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials down 24, NASDAQ's off 12, SPs are flat. And folks, you know, we just had the interview with Basil. It's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right on the front page featured content, the opening call with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. His workshop is going to go from 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be on a Wednesday. All you have to do, you basically hit that button. You're going to subscribe. And when you subscribe, you know, you can subscribe for one month. It's $149. For six months, it's $6.95 which is a savings of $199, and for one year, it's $1,195, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so check it out. You get a great newsletter for the month. You get a great workshop. Basil does amazing workshops. 
And listen, if the newsletter doesn't work for some reason, you know, bottom line, you get your money back and, you know, on the 29th day. Market wise out here, bottom line, you know, this market's waiting for the Fed. That's that's what it comes down to. Let's go take a look at, um, you know, we do have a couple of breakouts here. Um, NVIDIA. We take a look at inside the NDX 100. Strongest stock. NVIDIA is up 4.5%. Microchip Technology is up 3.7%. Bi Biogen's up 2.4%. And CSX and the railroads are up 2.1%. Uh, Taken away from it. Lucent's down 7.5%. Amazon's off 3 Micron Tech's off 3 And Datadog is off um, 2 Let's go take a look at NVIDIA. This thing comes out of nowhere, man. When this thing goes, it goes. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what, uh, let's just see. They come out with the numbers at 524. No, there you go. They, you know, they, they seem to be able to hit everything, folks. They, first they hit the gaming. This, I'm, I'm going back like 10 years, 12 years. First they hit gaming. Then they hit the, uh, uh, the crypto. And now the bottom line with that, the, now they're hitting AI. The, their first AI computers are shipping out. And this probably is going to end up being an ABC up. Look at this. This will be a big one, man. It's probably going to be in the weekly because on the, on the daily, they're not going to get the volume. Let's put this on a weekly and see what happens. Oh, that's the first day, so you're not going to be able to tell much. But I suspect what you, what you, you're going to have, because you got wide price spread out here today in this baby. So I suspect that that's what you're going to get. Um, the second one in there, microchip technology. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, so this is up 273. Okay, not as strong. They're coming out with numbers May 4th, so that's Thursday, right? Let's go to Apple, because Apple, <clears throat> Apple's going to be the big number out here this week for sure. That's going to be the 4th also. So the low's 124, the high's 176. Apple's going to be looking to take in $92 billion and $1.43 to the bottom line. <coughs> They're still growing pretty good. I mean, in the America, they're growing by 4% a year. Europe, they're growing by 4%. China, they're growing by almost 6%. Asia Pacific, 6%. Japan, 2%. Bring this back. Let's see what we got here. Well, Apple's going to need a lot of juice, man. It's it really the chart's really not that impressive. So, we'll see. We'll see what they can pull out of their hat. I'm sure that what they're going to pull out of their hat. One of the things they're going to pull out of their hat is that they're going to have a a problem more than likely a monster buyback. I suspect that's probably in the cards. You know, Google has a fifty billion dollar buyback, and it's not doing much for them. So this always gets intriguing when you see something like this coming. Because look at Google. Google, you know. This is one, two, one, two, three, four, five. This is the seventh time in three months it's been up at these highs and haven't been able to break them yet. Put this on a two-year. Yeah. You know, that being said, though, if they break them, you can see this is kind of like how the market set up. That's been a long base, man. These, are, these, these have been based out for a while. I mean, you know, when you take a look at Google, Google goes all the way back to high of 151, you're still down 30%. We'll see where they can take it out. That's the bottom line. We go take a look at the uh, silver market. So silver caught a nice bid today, and then as soon as gold start, I mean, as soon as the dollar stock going, it just gave it up. Look at that bar, man. We got up to 26.21. It gave up a whole dollar. Now we did 73,000 contracts, which is good contract volume. Pull this in. Oh, good. That okay. So silver, you know, bottom line is you, you get good contract volume here. That means you're going to be right back topside. Look at this contract volume, seventy-two thousand. Didn't hold price, but that's saying you're going to be right back topside. Um, Vista, 
Vista, there's, there's some action into Vista. You know, we do own Vista. That's an ABC up today. Um, there's, 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 something, there's something happening in Vista. There's no doubt about that, man. Um, that's an ABC up to 79. You're already at 73. But there's buying that's coming in there. Look at these buying. This has been happening for four days in a row. See these numbers over here? 18,000. These are all... The, the first one that started us off today was 85,000. At 11.30, then you had 18,000, 13,000, 10, you know. So we'll see uh, where good old Fred Ernest is, uh, see if he can get get a partner going. I mean, that's that's what that's all about. Uh, they've been out there basically trying to get a partner for quite some time now. The difference, you know, I suspect is when I was interviewing him on the air, is the aspect that now they have that as a $350 million project, uh, which is uh, so much easier um, to basically swallow for a, for a larger company. That's what it comes down to, where you, know, you, you do a piecemeal. And what's also happening, though, this price, the pr as the price of gold stays up here, um, all these types of gold and silver companies will operate in a different, different aspect. You know, that being said, my... My take still is that we still are going to be in for a little rough ride in the next couple months. Because my, um, my take is that this dollar wants to go. And that's saying to me that uh, Wednesday the Fed will come out, do that quarter point, and whatever the statement's going to be, you know. They get three or four banks that are... Um, well, three, yeah, four banks went down the tubes. That's the real bottom line. The next deal to get down the tubes, and what's so intri intriguing about this one, is that you have Wall Street defending this to a certain point. But the next one to get down the tubes, of whoever has all this commercial real estate, meaning the loans on the commercial real estate, office buildings, office buildings in San Francisco, folks. It's, I mean, you talk about those. It's, it's pretty heavy, meaning that who would ever think that that used to be some of the best office buildings in the world, not just the United States. And now you can pick them up 30 cents on the dollar. Yeah, you heard that right. 30 cents on the dollar. They'd love to sell them to you for 30 cents on the dollar. Dow Industrials right now up six, down 62. NASDAQ off 29. S&P's off five and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials down 44, Nasdaq's off 20, S&Ps are off 3. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, Jim, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, I, uh, I'm, while I was on hold here, I'm very happy. I just got my citizens' homeowners insurance renewal, and it only went up 21%. And um, I guess everybody in the state of Florida is going to go to Citizens because my, my bill went to sixteen hundred month sixteen hundred a month for three hundred thousand coverage on an owner occupied place. Uh, um, not sixteen hundred a month, right? No, excuse me, sixteen hundred a year. Yeah, yeah, good. Awesome. But I, I was expecting that to double. And yeah, no, no, Citizens is where it's at. If you're in Florida, folks, the bottom line is that even I don't care how long you've been with an agent. They're going to basically tell you that, no, we got, you know, we got to give you this. We got to give. Don't believe it. Bottom line, you know, get a citizen, get an agent that's going to sell you citizens because the money you save is going to be incredible. It's, it's amazing. I know. Yeah. The only the only again, the only problem, again, is your your temporary living expense. If there was a major problem like a fire or whatever, because they're only giving you thirty one thousand temporary living expense. That's that's the biggest, biggest problem. You know, you have a fire and you got to rent a place for five grand a month. Oh, uh, that $31,000 is going to go pretty quick. Yeah, but what, ha what does happen is that the other citizen, the other surplus lines, all these insurance companies, Jim, are selling surplus lines now. And surplus lines, okay. folks, bottom line, they got D and C credit, credit ratings anyway, so they're not that much more, but yet you're paying so much more. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like... Yeah. yeah. I wanted to... Um, I don't know if you talked about interest rates or bonds, or, or and I'm just look. I've been watching TBT, TLT for a long time. I looked back on this on the notes that they're back to basically a fifty percent from the high low, um, and I'm just curious um, what your take is on interest rates here, or what are the critical levels? So let's take a look. If we, well, what you have out here today is that you have the ten year coming down. So of course the ten year that's going to bring and the thirty year that's going to bring the TLT down. Um, that right. being said. That 10 years pulling back with dramatically lighter volume. So if you're looking to buy the TLT, you know, I'd wait to the down at that level, the 98 level, that, that swing point there. Because you can see okay. the TLT's down today. It's breaking the swing point. The swing point we're talking about there was uh, 103, 475. You needed uh, 16 million shares, and you're breaking it with 21. So that's saying that it can go to this next lower swing. If that's laying out here at that, uh, what is that, 98.88. So, yeah, I'd and wait. obviously, obviously not going to jump the gun before Wednesday anyway and see right. where the chips fall. Right. I was looking at the, the 10 year now is up to up 3. Point, what, 3.57 or something like that. Yes, it's, uh, yes, it's 3.59 right now. You know, so okay. it's going to get okay. tricky, man. That's, that's the bottom line. But um, as you just said, I would wait and see what the Fed comes out with and what their statement comes out with. Because we're, if, okay. we, if we haven't, like one of our targets in here was telling me that when you look at the Fed dot plot, it's a 97% chance that they're gonna come out and go up with a quarter point this, this Wednesday, so more than likely that, that's a given. And the real question is gonna be, what is that statement and how hawkish you know, or dovish do they get inside that statement? 
Uh, I looked at I looked at there was an article this morning that showed that in Japan they, their inflation went up, which kind of um, uh, now puts them in a box about they were the only country really to be holding the line on easy money, and now it looks like they're they're being boxed in with, with three and a half four percent of inflation. So it's going to be just an interesting week. Yeah, well, and in Japan's case, I mean, they've been looking to get inflation. They, I mean, they've been boxed in so dramatically, you know, because of the fact that they haven't had inflation is like, oh, my God, that's like 50 years. So they've been trying to actually get inflation going, you know. So and that's why you saw the yen today, the yen, folks. And that's what's driving the dollar. So the yen's getting weaker, um, you know, and the bottom, you know, that, that gets the let's see. No, the yen's getting stronger. No, the yen's getting weaker. Yeah, the yen's getting weaker. We're trading at 137. So. And I, I'm looking here. I, I was going all day, and I just looking at looking looking at the screen. I see gold holding up really well in 1988. That's. It is gold. Um, gold is held up well. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Um, and as is silver. I mean, silver took a hit of a buck today. Now that's that's a big hit because it was first up a buck and then basically gave it up, and we're trading flat right now. You know. We're going to have some movement when this comes out because, uh, you know, we're at the high end of the scale right now. We know that every quarter point makes a difference for all the banks that the paper that they actually have on their books, you know. Um, you know, it, I, it's just crazy. Here you got professional economists with PhDs on these boards that anybody would have let them invest their funds on a 30-year paper at the rates, those ridiculous rates. I, that's crazy. You know, um, that, that people... Yeah, it's a great point. What, what I've found out, or no, what, what I've found in general, that it seems that I don't want to make it all of us, okay? But I think that we seem to think, and I'm going to say it's a we because that for some reason, if you have a big bureaucracy and this and that, you think they know what they're doing. And I've found that most times they don't. <laughs> that, that's, that's what's so crazy. Like, they, they, you have to do it to get the job, right? So they're bright people. It's not that they aren't bright people, but then they just get hung up in this bureaucracy and, you know, they just let things slip. It's, ah, okay, it's not my problem. It's your problem. It's, you know, and that's what, you know, so it seems that that, that happens quite a bit. Um, uh, I know a couple people in indirectly, you know, manage, not managing, but at least part of a team that manages, you know, seven, eight hundred million dollars. And, and they no real real world experience. You and I would not lend people twenty thousand dollars at two percent or two point seven, eight percent for 30 years. And it, it's it's just crazy out there that those mistakes were made. And now they can't be erased easily. Oh, no, there's billions of paper out there. No, no, that's that's for sure. That's for sure. It's confusing. But you have a great day. And, have a great uh, one, man. This will be an interesting week. It's going to be an interesting week, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Okay, thanks. Yeah, bureaucracies, folks, are really interesting. You know, you, you get a lot of really bright people that are in them. If you know how to move inside a bureaucracy, you can be very successful. Um, and if you've never been in a bureaucracy, most times you can't move in them. <laughs> <laughs> that I could never move in a bureaucracy. That's for sure. Um, I, I, <laughs> yeah, it's not even close. But hey, listen, th th there's a lot to be said. That what blows you know what blows my mind. This is what's pretty cool. The staff normally the staff in the bureaucracy is so smart it's unbelievable, and it's the bosses that actually don't listen to the staff. That's what, what I've found. Like just dealing with cities and states. It blows my mind how they can get so much done. And it's the staff that's getting it done, but then you have their bosses that, you know, they're the ones they have to present it and all that. And they're the ones that that's where it normally goes down, you know, down the tubes, you know, where the staff, you know, they, they, they do quite a bit. There's no, there's no doubt about that. You can see out here today, it's going to be a sideways move, folks. Um, you know, this market is waiting for the Fed. That's what it's waiting for. And it is waiting for the Fed right at the top of a range that if you get another break topside, we're going, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow down 37. NASDAQ's off 7. S&P's a flat. We're coming right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 40, Nasdaq's off 10. Let's go inside the Dow and see what this flat market's all about out here. Point-wise, <clears throat> excuse me, folks. You have... Um, JP Morgan put in 19 positive points, United Health 18, Big Mac 14. Taken away from it, Boeing minus 10, Goldman minus 18, Home Depot minus 15. No big deal out there. Uh, the small caps, let's see what the small caps are doing out here. Small caps couldn't hold stuff. Yeah, now, this is interesting. Small caps are weak, man. Yeah, they're, they're, they're weak. You know, with small caps, they got all the way up to... 177 today, 177.34, and then gave it up on price with tremendously light volume. So that's, we, we have some heavy divergence out here, folks, okay? Because you're looking at this, we have the Qs and an ABC up. I would say that the IWM wants, wants to go down and test this low. The SPY is a total toss up. The SPY, you know, we're right laying right on this line, man. I mean, you go, you can look at this. That's just waiting for the Fed. There's no doubt. And the thing that's amazing, let's put that, or I'll put this on even on a weekly. You can see, you're just waiting there, man. <laughs> and this is going, okay, so check this out. This is, this is one full year where, where I just, where I started this trend line, that's a year ago, that's May. Each time it's been up, it's failed. We've only been, well, we've only been up there 
twice, right to the, to the top of the line. This is the third time. And third times do mean something. There's no doubt about it. Because you, if you make it, bang, you're going to go. You don't make it, you're going right down to the bottom of that baby. So we get a lot of action here, man. There's no doubt about it. And it'll be a mind blow up if they go up and the market still goes up. <laughs> that You talking about shaking it off? Oh, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. <laughs>